Hello everyone. My name is Melinda Hart. You are watching Stamping with Hart. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and today we are going to be making um, simple but cute encouragement cards for kids. Um, I think it's pretty simple in its design but I am going to be incorporating um, embossing paste. So whether or not you think that that's a simple step, I'll leave that up to you, but um, just a super cute card. So uh, the concept of this that came to me is my son is going to be going to summer camp and this is a very new big step for him. And I just thought it would be sweet to make him a cute little card, um, just, you know, encouraging him. Now, Connor um, isn't reading yet, so I do like that this is in um, print. So if your kids are starting to read, it would be easy for them to read and understand, but I would just tell him what it says. And the element that Connor would like best would be the stars in the, um, it's called shimmery white embossing paste. So this is the first time I've used this today. Um, and we're gonna have some fun with this. So I just did kind of like a traditional boy and girl version, but of course um, you could design this whatever, you know, would suit best for the child. So Connor loves blues, he loves astronauts. Um, so I just wanted to keep it really simple. He also loves things that have sparkle and texture. So I thought this would be uh, good for him. So, and here's the inside of the card. I stamped that a little crooked. Um, there's no one like you in the whole universe. So I just thought that this was so sweet. And then this one says, reach for the stars. And there's no one like you in the whole universe. And I added in the, um, the planets for the stamp there. So let me just show you what the stamp set is. So this is the stamp set that we're going to be using today. I also think that this would be really good um, as a paper pumpkin alternate for the June kit expressions in color because it has that alcohol kind of look to it. Um, so I think that that could be cool. Uh, but we're gonna be using Stellar Birthday. I'm gonna be doing the boy card again today. Um, but we also have a little puppy dog here. We have the rocket. This is actually one stamp with all three planets on it. We have these little stars here, so sweet. Um, such a cute um, stamp set. But the thing that stood out to me about it, even though it's focused on birthday, is that it actually has a lot of really positive um, sentiments to it, a lot of really encouraging sentiments that don't necessarily have to be birthday. You're out of this world. There's no one like you in the whole universe. Celebrating you is a blast and reach for the stars. So if you have kids that are going to be going into a new grade this year, a new school, if like Connor, they're starting kindergarten, so they're really kind of starting their actual school career. Um, they're going to a new camp or a new place for the the first time, this is a great way to tell them, you know, to go for the stars, to reach for their dreams. And I just thought that that was really sweet. So um, that's what we're going to be working with today. And I'm just going to tell you a few of the things that we're going to be doing. So um, I had somebody comment on my Facebook Live. Her name was Colleen on the last one that I did. And I was talking about these blending brushes. Okay, so... I was, you know, just saying that I was still struggling with them and she just kind of left me an encouraging comment saying, you know, it's just like the sponges, you just dab off and then you start working on the paper. So I thought, you know what, I am, I am going to work with them. I am going to try them. So Colleen, thank you for the comment. Um, if you happen to be watching this, we are going to be using a combination of the blending brushes and then the daubers. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because I... I don't have like one of these in every single color. So this one is Misty Moonlight and this one is Pacific Point. So that's why I'm just gonna be um, combining these. But I actually went in the other direction with blending brushes tonight and I'll show you what I mean by that for this little space age look. Um, but we're gonna be using the blending brushes. I'm gonna be using sponge daubers. You can use whatever blenders you like. And let me tell you what we're gonna be using for the shimmery embossing paste. So for the shimmery white embossing paste, 
And if you've ever, um, whether you're watching live or in the replay, if you've ever used embossing paste, let me know what you think of it. This is actually my first time using it when I designed this project today. Um, so I'm still brand new to it, but I'll tell you what I have learned. So I'm going to be using my silicone mat um, because we want something that we can clean up after we're done with this. I'm gonna be using um, a stencil. So just depending on what stencils you have at home, this particular stencil came in a paper pumpkin kit. Um, let me see if I could see what month it was. March. So March, the March 2021 paper pumpkin kit, um, there were four in there and one of them was stars. So I'm gonna be using this one today. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this embossing paste dries fast. So I, I have to like scrub this to get this fully off. I got most of it off, but when they tell you to rinse it, you know, with warm soapy water right away, they really mean it. So we're going to be using the silicone mat. We're going to be using, um, this, um, stencil and we're going to be using the paste and where is the, oh, here it is. When you order um, palette knives from Stampin' Up, these palette, these palette knives here, you get three of them, okay? And again, this is my first time using these. Um, so I didn't have a particular reason to pick one over another. I just liked that this was wide brimmed. So um, I felt like this could actually like flatten this out um, but they could probably all do that. This one would probably be really good for scooping. This reminds me of like um, the guys who do the bricks, right? And they're putting the mortar like in between the bricks. I hope I'm using the right terminology there, but that's what that reminds me of. So whichever one, um, I don't know specifically um, too much about these yet, but I'm gonna use this one today just because I like that it's wide like this. And um, have, you know, um, as soon as you, if you do decide to use the embossing paste, my recommendation would be to wash it as soon as you're done with it. Don't let it sit. Um, so that's what we're, that's what we're going to do. But it was actually pretty easy to use it. It was the cleaning part because I let mine sit for a little bit. So I had a little bit more work on the back end. Okay, and then I chose Stampin' Blends to color in my little guy. So I will tell you what colors I used on him um, when we get to that step. But the first thing we're gonna do, um, this is actually the note card size, um, three and a half by five. And then I cut in a layer just a quarter inch down. So three and a quarter by four and three quarters is the layering piece. So we're gonna cut that in again and I'm just gonna get my trimmer here. We're gonna do two of them. And that's just in case I make a mistake because I'm pretty new to the shimmering paste. So let's see, four and three quarters. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Let me know um, what you think of you know, the cards, encouragement cards for kids, anything. And um, if you're comfortable sharing it, I would love for you to share this. So, but only, only where it's allowed and only if you're comfortable doing that. So I just cut two layers here and it's gonna layer right on top of our note card size card base. And I think that this is something that especially little kids will enjoy. They love textures, right? Like they're very visual and they're very sensory, like Connor is a sensory seeker. They're very sensory kiddos. So they like having that little extra element to it as opposed to me putting, you know, little jewels or something on there. This, I feel like this is a little bit more durable for the kids. So um, we're gonna make our backgrounds and I'm going to be using Misty Moonlight and Pacific Point. So I'm gonna get my little protector sheet here. So this will be our first step <clears throat> now. And I will tell you guys the trouble that I've been having with the blending brush, but I decided to use that as an advantage. So we're going to do Misty Moonlight first. 
Okay, and I'll I'll show you what I ended up doing here. Let me just make sure you guys can see this okay. Okay, good. All right, so I just dab my brush right in here, like sort of rub it onto the ink pad. And if you go like this, the, the traditional way, or I think the way that they would, you know, um, teach you to use a blending brush is to get the harsh color off and then to just start coloring in your cardstock, right? But almost every single time that I would use the blending brush, I would get the harsh part on my card base um, or on my, on my layering piece. So we're just gonna do this in repeat. What I decided to do since I was making an outer space look was to actually do the harsh look on purpose. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I just started, even though it wasn't, um, you know, gonna look perfect, I thought it might actually look more like the solar system or more like space if I did do these harsh, these harsher looks. So this is like the stuff that typically when I get it, I don't want it on here, but here I'm actually going to lean into this. So we're actually going to build up a pattern using the harsh part. So, and you may have done this by accident and then sort of leaned into it and thought, well, let me just make the whole car darker then because, you know, I messed up and that's, that's what I will typically do. So I thought, let me try this and see how it looks. And I thought it ended up looking pretty cool. So I'll show you, we're just gonna keep doing this and we're just gonna do this over and over, probably like 15 or 20 swirls. And because I already had Pacific Point on one of my daubers, I decided to just use that. So we're gonna go to Pacific Point now. I'm just gonna set my Misty Moonlight out of the way. And with Pacific Point, I wanted to get like each of the corners, just sort of brighten that up. And then anywhere where it looks lighter, is where I started and I am doing the little dab off before I get in there. See, that's what happens when you don't dab off first. But it's okay, cause it's a, we're building an outer space look here. And we're just sort of mixing those blues. So whatever blues you chose to use, I think that um, Knight of Navy would be great if you were gonna incorporate like a black, um, you know, like the Memento Tuxedo Black or another um, black ink color or dark gray. Uh, I think that they would all make really cool out of space, uh, outer space like patterns. And the whole concept was we would just brighten this up. So you can see, let me just flip this over so that that looks a little more clear. Okay, so you can see that very similar pattern here, but once we incorporate the embossing paste and our little astronaut, you know, those little imperfections don't stand out as much. It really just kind of looks like swirly outer space to me. I'm gonna put down my silicone mat. I'm gonna put down my first layer and I'll show you, um, you could do this a couple of ways. So, you could do it like this, where you're kind of going from the, the larger stars down to the smaller stars. Um, I actually did mine sideways, so you can see like the larger stars are on this side and the smaller stars are on this side. So just whatever your preference is, but you can see the size of the stencil is not the same size here. I left this bottom part clean so that I could put like the sentiment on the bottom. So you can decide if you wanna reposition your stencil and then do the second half. I'm just gonna do the top three quarters here. And then we're gonna get our paste. I actually didn't even peel off all of the silver part yet, but I'm just gonna pick up some paste here. I used about this much. It reminds me of icing. 
Okay, so this is this is us being adventurous. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna hold down the tip of my stencil and I'm just gonna start filling in these stars. And the more opaque the star is, the better. We're just gonna make sure that we get all of it, but I don't want to get any extra down at the bottom here. So I'm gonna start slowing down as I get to the bottom part. I wanna get this last little star down here. And there's one over here. Okay. And then let me just see if there's anything that's looking like it needs a second layer. So these top stars, the ones that are still looking bluish, I'm just gonna add a little more paste to these. And if you use embossing paste, let me know. But I think that looks pretty good. I think we got everything. The good thing about space is it doesn't have to look perfect, right? And you can, I don't know if you can see there, but like, look at all that glitter. I hope that's not too blown out. It's hard for me to see on my phone, but. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I actually have a wet paper towel right by me and I'm going to wipe off my spatula and just try to get that paste off of there. Um, I still recommend that you wash it, but that will at least get like the chunky part off. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stencil off and I'm just gonna peel it. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to, I'm gonna try to wipe this off as much as I can. Okay. Now, if I messed that up, I would have done the second one, but I think this one looks great. So you can see like that glitter really kind of stays on here and see all these little white bits that are, you know, catching on the actual star stencil. That's what you want to make sure that you wash in the soapy water. So I'm going to have to wash that like literally as soon as this live is over but let me pick this up i'm going to go um, with my scrap paper here and these little edges just going to grab that paste right from the edges of the card so if it's a layer you want to make sure so that these don't stick but doesn't that look great so i'm also going to wipe off my little um, mat here but this should dry pretty fast. Let me throw this one away. I'm gonna close my embossing paste so that this doesn't dry out. Okay. There we go. Okay, and so I'll give that a rinse after, but it should be good. All right, and now when you, when you know one of your scrap pieces is well loved. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a second to dry. And while we are letting this dry, I am going to take a piece of the basic white cardstock here and we're gonna use our Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp our little astronaut. And we are gonna work with the boy. Now, um, I did it so that I fussy cut him, but if you don't like to fussy cut, um, I would just find a die, um, you know, a die or a punch that will punch him out and then just use that. So like a really cute circle die might be great with him um, or a good rectangle. pretty good Let me just make sure all 
All right, he looks great. And we're just gonna do a little bit of coloring with our Stampin' Blends. And by the time we're done with our blends, that should be um, nice and dry and ready to go. So the Stampin' Blends colors, I kept them pretty close. So his suit, his little astronaut suit, is actually just gray granite light. Now, if you love the alcohol markers for blending and all of that, go for it. I think especially like when you're giving cards to kids and everything, the simpler, the better. Um, so I just kept it just, and I tend to do that a lot where I just use like one color. So I'm gonna use gray granite light for his suit. We're gonna do the trim in misty moonlight light. So his little star and his little belt and things, that will be in the misty moonlight light. His hair is the one thing I use the combo for. Um, I use cinnamon cider dark and light for his hair. And his skin color is the ivory Stampin' Blend. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I do have Misty Moonlight dark out for some reason, but I'm pretty sure I did not use that. So we're gonna just color him in. I'll put him here so that you guys can see while I'm coloring. So I'm gonna do the face first. I tend to use the brush tip a lot. But Since we're asking about my birthday, I think I told you guys in my last live that my mom and I do Halloween themed crap. <laughs> I know, they're fabulous. Wait until you see this. Okay, so she got the, I can't remember what the bundle is called. It's like festive something, like festive finishes or something like that. Look at how fabulous that is. So we were just playing, we were just playing with these and Again, this is just a little sneak, just a little sneak peek. The, look at the size, this is one stamp. Look at how incredible that is. So um, there's that. And then I also did one using the, um, the set that I bought, the cute Halloween. And it had these little candy corns and I, was, um, I wasn't sure if I should use the black ink for it, but I thought they turned out really cute. She encouraged me to do the orange and the yellow so we just have to like fill this in but i've been playing around a lot with borders on cards um and i just think that these are going to be these are going to make like the most fun fabulous projects i'm just going to fussy cut this little guy Get a good crease on this. All right, so we kept this one really simple. So let me just show you this. So he's just gonna go right into the center and that is dry. Okay, so he'll just go right into the center. I'm gonna pop him up on dimensionals. We're gonna do your out of this world is the sentiment and Pacific point. I'm gonna trim this, that, well, you know what? That corner being bent won't even matter because we're not gonna need that whole piece. All right, so I have my stamp here. Let's get Pacific Point. Okay. I'm gonna leave a little space on each side because we're gonna use my favored uh, banners pick a punch. Going to use the one that actually points outward. Just gonna, I always check the back so that it's not crooked. Okay. 
and on this side it looks like I have too much here so I'm gonna trim let me use my trimmer one more time because I don't want to cut that crooked so probably like two and a quarter inches mm. two and a half just to be safe now two and a quarter is good yeah two and a quarter is good and let's get the other side now once you cut this down and it gets kind of low, it can get tricky to handle in the punch pulling it back out again. So we'll just make sure I have a hold of it here. Okay, and then the other little add-on um, that I didn't get to tell you guys about is right down here in the corner is the mercury glass acetate. Um, the one side is silver and the other side is either pink or purple. And this is still available in the annual catalog. So this is what the mercury glass acetate looks like. And then here is the back. The silver side has protective plastic on it. So I just wanna point that out. So you may wanna remove the plastic, you know, when you are working with this, but basically, I just cut a corner. So you could either die cut a circle. Um, I don't recommend punching with acetate. It's, um, it's a little tough, like it might not punch cleanly because this is a different type of material. It's not just paper or cardstock. Um, but I actually just ended up like kind of cutting like a little semicircle here. So we're just gonna cut a piece of this first. And then just gonna go here and just holding it we're just gonna kind of do like a circular and it doesn't have to be the same size doesn't have to be perfect okay so that's the first part and then I'm gonna turn this over and we're gonna trim off the top and the bottom here or the side, I should say the side and the bottom. And then we end up with like our little, our little quarter moon here, all right? And then I'm just gonna use, um, we have like a good amount of the silver here, so I wouldn't put it where any of the little clear spots are but you can actually hide your adhesive um, on any of the solid purple parts. So I'm gonna use just a couple of the um, adhesive dots. I think my adhesive dots went flying with my basket. So let me just grab another paper pumpkin kit real quick. Here we go. These would be real. this is from the June paper pumpkin kit, by the way. Um, these have that iridescent, they already have little stickers on them. If you don't wanna mess around with the embossing paste, consider these. Um, or if you have like little stars, oh, you know what else would be fabulous? Let me show you this. This was part of my pre-order. The Cute Stars, which is part of the Halloween set. So again, if you would rather use um, pieces like this, this would be fabulous with the Stellar Birthday. Um, so, so cute. So I'm gonna put these on. I'll give, this, I'll give this card to Connor before he goes to camp tomorrow. I can't believe. He's gonna be starting kindergarten. I just can't get over it. I just keep saying it over and over again. And I know it's gonna be fine. I just really hope that the kids are kind. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, thanks, Susan. Okay, so I'm gonna put our little 
quarter moon here right down in the corner. Just going to line that up. Okay. Get that edge there. All right. And then um, for the back, use whatever adhesive is easiest for you. I'm going to use my multi purpose. Okay. And then let me put this down. So this is just, um, you know, the, the basic quarter inch frame layer, basically here. It's looking pretty good. All right, so we're going to pop this little guy up on Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll use three. I know, Susan, that's exactly what I'm thinking. You know, we all went through school and we know how it is. Um, a, you know, a common phrase that they use um, with the difference between neuro neurodiverse, you know, like Connor, Connor who has the autism diagnosis, and then neurotypical children, right? So he's in a full class of neurotypical kids. And I'm just like, that's the, his first time going through that. So like you said, even if there's just one um, sweet kiddo in there, we'll be good. So let's see. All right, and then we're also gonna do our You're Out of This World sentiment up on Dimensionals. Almost there. Okay. And this one, I actually got it a little more centered than on the other. So we'll just put this right down here. And then for the inside of our card, we put there's um, no one like you in the whole universe. So let's do that here too. But in this, um, in this case, we'll do Pacific Point. And that is clean. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not contaminating my ink pad with another color. All right. So let's see. I might have put my sticker on a little bit crooked because that's the second time I've done it crooked, but Connor won't mind. Okay, and then um, we have our little planets here. So let me ink up our little planets. And I'm just gonna kind of like fit this in, right? How about right here? Oh, isn't that cute? So here we go. This is the boy version. If you are doing like traditional colors and things like that, Connor's favorite color is blue. And I do think he's gonna be an astronaut for um, Halloween, but I'm not sure. And then here is the girl version. And the only differences here was that I used um, polished pink. This little star die is from that set I've been using nonstop. The trimmings and tidings um, bundle. Um, and then same coloring except I used Cajun Craze for her hair and polished pink um, for her trim. And then on the inside, same deal and just put the planets in a different spot. And you'll see here that like there's the blue under color and it was a little bit lighter than this one. And then I actually took Blackberry Bliss with my mini sponge dauber and went over it. So, um, you know, there I just went over a little more. So the the stars on this one ended up turning Blackberry Bliss itch, like color wise, which I thought was really cool. So there they are. And I would just say if you have any, um, you know, kids, nieces, nephews, friends, um, anything like that, grandkids, that are going to be doing something new this summer or this fall, 
um, consider this stamp set for them because it has such a lot of great positive messages to it. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, and I will see you again on Thursday.